Bruce? Yeah, buddy? Sorry. Bunk beds. R right. Uh -huh. um, we'll head out. This is Melissa, by Hi, the way. Hi, nice to meet you. I'll turn the light off for you. Sorry. Uh, I gotta get back in my own place. I'm sorry about last night. Are you? No. I mean, I had a great time, but I want to be. Well, you should be sorry. I'm only staying with you in the first place so they can fumigate the office, which was supposed to be my apartment, by the way, for ants. And I only have ants because of you. Because of the marinade? Yes, because of the marinade. It's just honey and ketchup. And bourbon. Right, and bourbon. And you left it out in an uncovered bowl on the counter. You gotta let it air out, baby. That's my dad's secret recipe. <sighs> I never even saw what meat it was for. That's because it's not for any meat. It's a marinade so good that you eat it on its own. <laughs> uh, you're the detectives? Hi, Terry Cruz. We spoke on the phone. Right, Gloria. So what seems to be the problem, Gloria? How much time do you have? I'm running a silent movie theater on the wrong side of 1927. <laughs> hmm. We don't normally work on cases that involve time travel. Normally it's a cheating spouse or uh, stolen merchandise. I don't know. Maybe, Terry, you know enough about science to travel through time? Was that a real... Are you, are you serious? She runs the theater to preserve the art form for modern audiences to, like, appreciate and learn from? Yes, thank you. A true believer. Well, I am here every year for the Buster Keaton Festival. You probably don't recognize me. I'm usually wearing Big Joe Roberts makeup. Oh. How is this the dorkiest thing I've learned about you so far? Excuse my partner. He'd probably be a Harold Lloyd fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it's not an insult if you don't know what it means. So what's the case? Right, so I make most of my money from festivals. It's the only way to get big donors in the door. They get to put their name on a banner, I get to keep my theater open, it's great. However, two months ago at my German Expressionist Festival, Gesundheit and Goodnight, a very expensive copy of Metropolis was stolen from the projectionist booth. Oh, I love Metropolis. It wasn't sure, thank God, but I can't afford to risk it. I have an original celluloid copy of Sherlock Jr. coming and I can't afford to have it stolen. Sherlock Jr., what is that, like a sequel or something? It's Buster Keaton's masterpiece, you philistine. It's also the most expensive movie I've ever screened. If anything happens to it, if it gets stolen, I won't be able to afford to stay open. So, buy an alarm system. Do you think I can afford an alarm system? Are we cheaper than an alarm? We are cheaper than an alarm. Listen, here's the key to the projectionist booth. The reels get here today, the festival starts tomorrow. Just stand outside and make sure nothing gets stolen. Not really what a detective does. Uh, we'll take it. We need the money. Hey, at least we can take turns, you know? Getting drunk, keeping guard. Oh, I'm not staying. We got another gig. But why do you get to go? I want to go to the other gig. Because the client specifically asked me to come alone. Now you get back in that booth and start... guarding, I guess? I, I don't really know. But I didn't get to tell you about last night. Tell me later. Is this what success feels like? How would I know? Uh... Yeah, I, I, I think the closet will work for me to hide in. Look, I, I don't think I get what I'm doing here. What's there to get? I think Laura's using her old key to get into our old place and steal my stuff. Right, right, no, I, I get that. I mean, why am I here? Because my house alarm keeps going off and uh, I can't be there? I think she's the one setting off, and I need to know. Wait, am I cheaper than an alarm and a camera? Look, I don't want to get the police involved. You'll catch her breaking in, take a picture, send it to me, and tell her if she doesn't stop, I'll take her to divorce court where she can say goodbye to that sweet alimony. And why didn't you want to get Bruce involved? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. It's kind of awkward, you know? He used to be my bro-in-law. And anyway, he's kind of a big stone, gluttonous man-child. And you, you on the other hand, you're an adult. I know I can trust you. Ah, shit, she's coming in. I, I gotta hide. Okay.
Yep. This is really boring. Ah! 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 What are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here? Why, why are you naked? I asked you first. I asked a better question. Okay, well, shut the door. There's no one here. Ah! Ah! So you really break back in just to use the bathroom? Yeah. Couldn't get good water pressure anywhere else, or? It's not about that. It's not just about that. It's about the tub and the granite countertops and the balcony and the island in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I had a life here. I didn't love Dan, but I didn't not love my life. Grammar in that sentence was terrible. Look, it's, I spent all day in a studio apartment trying to turn a futon into a mattress and just waiting to leave. And I know, I know I chose that and I don't regret it. I never wanted to be married, but sometimes I just miss the feeling of being comfortable. You know, the feeling of being on solid ground. Does that make any sense? Yeah. I mean, a lot, actually. Like, like a weird amount coming from you. I, I've been kind of lost since this whole thing with Megan. It's like you make this whole plan for how your life's going to turn out, and then just none of it happens. And you need something to hold on to while you figure it all out. And I just don't... You! I... I... I caught her. You uh, son of a bitch. Uh, Dan, calm down. This is really not what it looks I like. I paid you to catch my ex-wife stealing, and now I'll find you catching, catching you seeing my ex-wife? I, I was stealing is, it's not, uh, uh, what, it's, what, he's paying you? There's, there's a, there's a good, good explanation for all of this, um. Lubrication. <laughs> I get some of this essential handy oil. <laughs> handy oil. You're so funny. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Wait, no, come back! This. There is nowhere to run, Terry. I'm on the eighth floor, and I'm definitely not paying you now. What? But I did the job! The job wasn't to make out with my ex-wife, you fucking idiot! It's not, oh. it wasn't that good of a kisser. Right, let, let's all, let's all just have a nice, deep, Cleansing breath and Laura now go. Now what? No, create a distraction so I can run away. You can't just say Laura now and expect me to put the rest together. Well, clearly I assumed wrong. All right, so. that's enough. I'm gonna kick your ass, okay. Terry. Come over here. Terry now. Now, now. now what? No. Oh, now run. you run. Of course. Sorry. Oh, See, that's a stupid way to talk. No, no, no. All right. Now, let's see who you really yeah. are. Wait, who the hell are you? I'm Jason. Jason? I've never met a Jason. Why would you have met me? That's not how crime works. Well, that's narratively inconvenient. What? You know, like at the beginning of Scooby-Doo when there's like the bad guy at the beginning and at the end they're like, it's that bad guy. God damn it, Wait, give me. No.
So did any of that actually happen? No, it's all just bits. Yeah. The guy that was chasing me across the street actually got hit by a truck. Ha! He's paralyzed from the neck down. I retract my ha! Wait, so why was Dan chasing you? You know, some mysteries I leave to the greats. Is there any uh, nudity in this film? narratively inconvenient.